Greetings and welcome back to King of Many Nations. In the last episode we finished up playing as, um, let's see here, uh, Bulgaria, as you can see. We rose to power by inst instituting um, seniority and we claimed some territory here in Trebizond and uh, some territory here and there. A bit. Everywhere. So, in this episode, we will move on and play as... Alright, so we are King Edern of Portugal. So, um, I see opportunities here. Yes, yes, I do see an opportunity to form a Welsh Portugal. So, the Dior Portugal. Yes, this is what we want, and we're going to go for it. We rule this. This is Welsh, unfortunately. But we do hold all of it. No, we do not hold all of it ourselves. We have our brother here. He's a genius and content. That's kind of awesome. Hmm. We do not have mu much money, but I um, think we could be fine without billions of go- holy fuck! There, there we have a bank. Right, all of our money problems are fixed. And uh, our brothers and stuff still like us, so... I say that's, um, that's, that's good enough. Uh, we need a new wife. We do not have a proper... Hmm. Well, we kind of do. Kind of, kind of, but still. Wait, what are we ruling with? We are ruling with Gavel kind. Well, then I suppose we do not want to uh, um, get any more children, to be honest. Is our daughter good? She likes to fight. And that's pretty much all she's got going for her. She's very cute, though. Court chaplain. Do we need to convert anything? No, I don't think so. Let's improve religious relations with the Pope, so we can ask him for money. My half-brother. Hmm. Can I make you the Bishop of Praga? Here, take some uh, some titles. Then perhaps you can I can keep you as my spy master. That also disqualifies him from succession, which is excellent. Improve diplomatic relations. Yes, yes. You find me a tyrant. Did I marry my daughter to you? Awesome. So I have an Ashkenazi Jewish uh, husband for my uh, heir. Hm. Let's see. I think I will... Wait, what? Your heir is... Why, did... Why was the text red? No dynastic air. Oh, okay. Wait, so my two count vassals are married to each other. Yes, that can work. It's a bit of a risk, though, letting uh, them gain all that power for themselves. Well, alright. Let's see what we need to do. We need to holy war a lot. And how do we do that? They are defending against the tyranny war. Well, first off, we do have a holding from Asturias there that we could take. You are fighting Dublin, the Dior War, and uh, someone's war for Ireland. We could also claim a county. You would call in a lot of people, so I don't know if the county is worth it. Claim Galicia for what? For the princess of England? I don't think so. Hmm. Guess. I guess we wait for a revolt. Would be interesting to um, try to snag this from a um, revolting state. Um, we did put him at diplomatic relation duty, so. Also, we should collect taxes. Is there any factions in the Kingdom of Wales? We're not that interested in, in the Kingdom of Wales, to be honest. 
I'm more interested in uh, Portugal. I might need to break off sooner or later. I would like Lissabon though. Fabulous feast. And here we have uh, Bishop Rodrigo of Toma. I don't even know who that is. Do I care? I don't think so. No interesting plots either. This is Sunni, right? Yes, that's Sunni. This is Shia. Gurufi. <laughs> the Esraids are facing a succession crisis. Hmm. And it seems like Karl's land is still Cathar. That's not good. This heir is still uh, Catholic, though. <laughs> Man, defending against a billion holy wars. Well, you brought it on yourselves. <sighs> Toledo. Can't holy war Toledo because we do not have a border. That's unfortunate. Can we holy war the S raids? No, this does not count as a border, apparently. Do we have any claims? Well, I'm not taking that. We could claim Salamanca for... Wait. Princess Delith of Brittany? My vessel? Wait a minute here. She holds Braganca. Coimbra, and, uh, oh, a barony, okay. Then what the hell do I hold? Glamorgan, I hold something in Wales. Oh, I see, I see. Well then, we should open up the borders by attacking this guy. King of Aragon and the Queen of Asturias. Well, we do have mercenaries, so, um. And you're holy warring for... Toledo. I think we'll claim it. Call in some allies. We would probably need some mercenaries. We, we can take a little, little band of mercenaries with us. It's a tiny band. They will do. Just in case people come along and try to take their side in the war. We don't want to kill the Castilian army though, because they are trying to take this and we're all for that. But... Wait, who are you? My brother. Oh, I can imprison you. I think I'll try to do that later on. So that's uh, something for me. I would get... Well, I, I need... More stewardship. What's my ambition, by the way? Improve martial ability? Fuck that. I'm going for stewardship. Alright. I'll save trying to murder my brother. Or not murder my brother, but revoke his stuff. Perhaps I should get... I like the fact that... Ah... Uh... No. I want to get out of Gavelkind, though. Can I? No vessels has a negative opinion. Well, that would be them. It's going to be hard to please them. I'm going to do my best. He was easy to please. Then it's simply this guy. Can I do something for you? You could, uh, no. Alright, I'll just wait for the opinion bonus. Chancellor, yeah, sure. I will be Chancellor. Seems like Asturias did join the war. This is glowing red. <sighs> oh no, he died. Oh, that's too bad. 
means my nephew took over. Need you to like me. Be master of the horse. Ooh, righteous imprisonment of her. Her heir is my nephew, but she holds way too much land, in my opinion. At least she holds lands I want. Mm, I'll uh, wait for uh, the 26th of August before I do anything. So I get the increased imprisonment chance. My son-in-law? Um, unmarried heir. Matrilineal. Prince of Germany. Prince of England. That's nice. Prince of Wales. Prince. This Prince of Wales isn't... Well, I need more stewardship. Actually, I think I will be able to switch to... Um, uh, elective... And if I switch to elective, I can nominate my nephew. Let's see. Yes, I can nominate my nephew, and then their children. Ah, oh, no, wait. No, that won't work. All right. Need to think of something else. Anyway, let's focus on this war for now. What? Did I imprison... No, it wasn't me, it was the King of Wales who imprisoned stuff. I see. Hmm. I wonder if we would be able to kick out the S-Raids from uh, Spain and form a Welsh Hispania. Perhaps that would be possible. I'm not sure. Uh, keep on buttering up the Pope. By the way, Pope, would you give me money? No. I have free investiture? Alright. Another grandson. Man, my people keep on dying. Um, so my vassals. Suddenly you hate me. Why? Hmm. Don't know, but I will press her claim, I think. So she should she should like me just because I did that. Fantastic. Stay out of this, please. Um Ooh. Lithuania is... well, no, they gave away this. Yaroslav. Alright, so it seems like the Teutonic Order will be some kind of pseudo-Russian uh, state. Here's the Lapish Band, by the way. Someone couldn't pay their mercenaries. Alright, hurry this up. We'd like to see some results soon. Hmm. Can we take this from someone? No, not that kind of claim. I always mix them up. Claimants. Uh, no one. That's too bad. Are you winning, Castil? No, it doesn't seem like it. Ooh, Santiago. Santiago isn't bad. Man, I wish I had some more claims. I don't have a claim on Hereford, and I don't even want it. Hmm, I wonder if I can give my overlord titles, because I would like to get rid of my Welsh holdings. When I break free. No, I cannot. Chancellor. I think they're being killed, all of them. The ones I send away. 
That must be what's happening. Alright. I guess I have to destroy their armies. I don't want to. Ah, oh, I can destroy this. Their allies. That would probably help me. Yeah, it did. And uh, them as well. Alright, Castile. Face me. Cowards. Oh, no character. That explains why that battle felt slightly shaky. Okay. Do you give up yet? Ah, you do. Alright, so we open up a um, entrance to the Ezraids. Portugale. So what we want to do now is probably go on a holy war eventually, but first we want to change the inheritance law. So she likes us. Now it's only this guy. Oh, Tanistry would be awesome! I, I've never tried Tanistry. I want to try Tanistry. So, what can I do for you? What can I do for you, Eugenio? You're Portuguese. Is that why you hate me? The others by 20. Man. Man, that guy. So, I think all of my vassals could... Um, if I remove him... And everyone else is lowered by 20. Then I suppose I could pass the reform. Or not the reform, but the succession law change. Uh, let's try. Yes, I can. And then I can go for tennistry. So tennistry is the ruler and all, va and all vassals at one and two ranks below can nominate an heir, the tennist, from among the members of the ruler's dynasty. Vassals will tend to favor older members from other branches of the family, especially claimants. Yes. Yes. So I want to nominate... Um, who do I want to nominate? That's the most... Uh, you. But you have Castello Branco. That's this, right? No, it's not. What's Castello Branco? Oh, it's, it's my vassal. Well, I'll I'll go for for you, then. Nice. So uh, that's one of the coolest succe succession laws I've seen. Should I be more of a tyrant? Is the question. I could, if I wanted even more money. With all that money, I could holy war like no one's business. You are invading Mauritiana. It, it's a good time to do it. The thing is, would my... My vassals do really like me. They do. So, um... I think, uh, I think this is the right thing to do, considering. Yeah, they, they still enjoy my company, <laughs> I guess. Uh, let's get rid of these. Do I have any family members who would like it? My court? My grandson? Uh, I guess not. And what's uh, this then? Swansea. Oh, it's up here. Alright, with this money, we should be able to holy war them. If they are fighting down here, then they should be easier to defeat. Request invasion? 
Oh, okay. Volleyball for um, Bea. Yes, that's what we want. And some mercenaries. We have a lot of money. Let's go with a nice big band of mercenaries. Two children. Granddaughter. It can be a... I just touched. My grandson. Should I educate him myself? Yeah, why not? And people just keep on dying. Improve diplomatic relations and collect taxes. So I could probably grab myself myself a holy order as well. Um, the Teutonic order, the Knights of Santiago, I think. Help me, Knights of Santiago. No reason not to use them. So I lost the trade wrath. So I will not imprison her because um, her, she and my nephew are married and their children will probably inherit their land and those children will probably be chosen as tennists. You still uh, Cathar? You are Cath Seriously? By the way, it Looks like I, I, I'm so used to seeing France that I didn't notice that France is back. And uh, the Shia Caliphate has lost all of their holdings here in France. France is back, ladies and gentlemen, ruled by the, by King Gerard, the Liberator of France, is of the the, the Chinon dynasty. Yeah, this is awesome. I've never seen a more interesting situation than this, actually. The Tengris are still Sunni. Some Tengris still around here, of course. Uh, the Norse seem to be kind of split. Sw the Swedes are turning Catholic, but... Uh, but yeah, the Norse uh, vassals don't like it. Anyway. Oh, holy fuck! How did I miss that? Okay, you go back. And then we hire every holy order. That should be enough. That's almost every holy order. Go back. Destroy. Man, I feel sad for the Muslims not having any holy orders. Oh, well, they have one. That's not very fair, but... This is... Uh... No, did he die? Oh, no. I want to educate him. I'll send you some money. Why do you hate me? Tyrant, of course. Uh, so my brother... My brother is... Ruling Powys. This is one of the most awesome inheritance laws I've ever seen, by the way. Now, I want to nominate him. Yeah, then he likes me a lot more. Hunt them down. Alright, so I'm losing a fuck ton of money right now. I guess I could go on sieging. Yeah, this this is way too much. At least I'm firmly winning. You surrender. Thank you. Right, let's get rid of all of this. And then we can usurp this. Uh, I don't think I want to. I don't really know how Tanistry works if all of my titles are um, transferred to one Tanist or if there's several uh, possible outcomes. Um, anyway, I don't need the prestige from it, so I'll simply give away this first and foremost to um, 
to you, perhaps? Do you want it? This is Hereford, I think. No, Glamorgan is it. There you go. You have it. And then, oh man, it's the ships. It's the ships that cost so much money. There we go, we still have a lot of uh, gold left for an eventual attack on the S-Raids. Where we would probably go for this duchy here, Badajoz. And now the question is, can we create Portugal? I know we need two dukedoms. Two duchy titles. We do hold all of this. Um, could we push a independence faction? We could. We really, really, really could. So let's do it. Let's push the faction. Demand independence. Can also ransom all of these. Portuguese independence. Let's hire a mercenary band. I, I don't know we could if we could get any boats over there though. Let's hire a tiny mercenary band. Oh, we do have access to galleys. Well then it's no problem. Let's hire a big mercenary band like uh, you guys. So that's six thousand, then we would need some boats. That's not enough. We I guess we need a hundred boats. We don't need them yet. We could siege this first. Uh what? Why would you Stop that please? I am much stronger than you. Every conceivable way. I have the money, therefore I have the power. Man, that's a sincerely unimpressive army. Oh yeah, it's because I haven't given away all the land. Um, at least I'll give away this. That should help. That's why you don't like me. And now you... let's see, domestic to big minus 20. And again about the tyrant things. I think I'll keep these for now. Just for now. Stop running away! Let me kill you. Excellent. Man, die, just die. Now they're sieging here, I don't mind. ship over there eventually. Uh, now I have some stewards and marshals. Of course you're leading my armies. You could train troops instead. We would need to claim this from Wales eventually. It's held by the king himself, so... Uh, well, the child king. My money won't last forever. Hmm. Um, Alright, I get some stewardship bonuses. Okay. 
Uh, lunatic, depressed, stressed. That could work to my favor. That means I can uh, take my own life. Commit suicide, right? No? I did not get depressed. I got lunatic. I thought I gained all of this. All of the traits. No, apparently not. Bottomless tankard. 20% salt. Uh, traveling bard from distant lands. Keep the mead flowing. And there we go. Two more stewardship. Fortunately, it didn't last. Uh, my daughter and the... Yeah, sure. There we have a Welsh army. Just siege this and then I'll go and take care of them. Ah, oh, I have a grandson who's an Ashkenazi Jewish guy. That's interesting. Um, I can't educate him myself, so I'll just let her do it. Need her to like me anyway. That's a nice chunk of war score there. Alright, do I need to enforce demands? Yes. I have lost the war. Alright, so now I have independence. Let's get rid of this. And then we usurp this. And then we create the Kingdom of Portugal. I'm now King of Portugal. I will nominate... Let's see, I am um, Tennistry still. Excellent. Uh, not the Count of Povis. I want... Um, perhaps I do want him now. Hmm. Am I educating him? Yes, I am. Well, then I, I'd like him. Can I have more retinues? I can. Archers. What kind of retinue is this? A longbow retinue. Yeah, I'll have a longbow retinue. Hold the grand tournament. Why not? And we could... Uh, hmm. I thought I could go on a pilgrimage, but apparently not. She has claims everywhere. You know what I could do? I could imprison her and then give this to people who like me. But she does actually like me now, so she does hold a bit more, much land. But my domestic size rose. really likes more money. I will get rid of this eventually as well. Not sure I want it. Though... Eventually I will take Lis Lisboa here. Uh, I should take a look at this. This is worth um, 85. Has four holdings. I guess this is a rather good capital city, Porto. Excuse me. Whew. Yeah, Esraids. Esraids, you are still invading Mauritiana. Hmm. That means we could probably attack them. We do not have much money, but we do have piety. We could hire holy orders. Um, as usual, I see no reason not to do this. So let's holy war for Badajoz. And hope it works out. Holy order, we want the Knights Templar. That should be enough. And they cost money, right? Yes, they do. Right, so we need to be quick. Hmm. 
humble. It's a nice trait. Right, so my money is probably going to run out as, at this rate. Diligent. Did he gain diligent? Uh, perhaps it wasn't even him. Perhaps it was this guy. No, he gained slothful. Just to make sure that I have enough money, do I have any rich guys I could imprison in case of an emergency? I don't think so. Most of these guys are rather... How the hell do you pronounce that name? He didn't have any gold anyway. <laughs> this guy even have negative gold. Uh, Alright, I guess we will simply have to... Uh, do this the old-fashioned way. Like asking the Pope for money? No. Split in half and chase down a weird army that keeps going back and forth. My wife was murdered on the order of Simon Van Susa. Why? Why would you murder my wife? Um, the Princess of Castile. I need gold. Let's call in Castile. <laughs> From fighting Castile to calling them into our wars. What has this world come to? Oh, more small armies we could take care of. I don't know if they give any war score, but something is better than nothing. Um, minimal city taxes. No. Nice. This guy is turning out to be really good. And I never had the chance to figure out if uh, having multiple uh, ducal titles would uh, make them all go under the same tanistry law. But I guess it doesn't matter anymore, seeing as we are kings. Oh, by the way. You're 12 years old. I think I'll educate you to the end. My education is good enough. Even though I am a lunatic. What the hell are they doing? Suiciding? Well, I don't mind. Catholic uprising. Why would they attack me? Oh man, and the Teutonic Order won't fight them. Or well, um, Knights Templar. Because they are Catholics. Fuck. That's really odd, though. They're like, oh, we're going to claim this for Catholicism. Oh, that holy order is attacking uh, the, the Shias over here. Let's attack them. Makes perfect sense. Hmm. My money is slowly running out. Have to get rid of the holy order soon. At least it doesn't seem like they, they ever come around, so... Well, let's keep on sieging for... For now. And there we have a revolt, I think? No, the s -raids managed to invade. That's what happened. Okay. Catholics are taking care of them. And I need money. I could um, steal money from the Jews. If needed. Let's keep on going for now. What is this? Uh, you have decided to introduce a new law to the good people of the realm, as is your right as the ruler. Now you just have to decide on its contest. Content. 
Lunatic trait. Turnip act. The pants act. The hole in the wall act. The cessation of violence act. I think this is... Um, you order everyone to have a hole in the walls of their houses. I've seen it before. The cessation of violence. I think... The pants act. The pants act. The new law has been written and couriers are even now distributing it to all of your vassals. You admire your handiwork. Whereas pants constrict not only the lower limbs and reproductive organs, but also the human soul. And whereas pants are known to be an affront to all forms of life but man. Therefore, I, King Edern of Portugal, command that the use of pants be outlaws throughout, outlawed throughout the realm under penalty of death. All existing variants of this garment are to be immediately burned, the ashes distribute evenly over the graves of our forefathers. <laughs> yes! That is definitely a law I would pass if I were a king. Anyway, we will see the conclusion to this exciting war and what will happen after we institute this law in the next episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.